Super Wild Card Weekend kicks off with the first game being the Cleveland Browns at the Houston Texans on Saturday. Let's take a look at the health advantages in this contest and look at the field view and six score advantages from Sports Injury Central. This is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc. Houston is the division winner for the AFC South. Rookie head coach D'Amico Ryan and rookie C.J. Stroud against veteran Joe Flacco and Kevin Stefanski, who may be coach of the year. Overall, the six scores show a lot of yellow here, as you can see, offensively, defensively, in the break, breakdown. The standout is the Browns' uh, passing game defense, uh, given their injuries, and we'll go over this a little bit. The Browns and the Texans played in Houston week 16, and the Browns won 36-22 to despite a lot of Joe Flacco picks. He had a big day, and Amari Cooper had 265 yards, and they won by two touchdowns uh, in that game. But remember, Houston did not have C.J. Stroud that game. It was the second week from a concussion, and at Sports Injury Central, we indicated early that C.J. Stroud was likely not to play. He did not play. It was Case Keenum and Davis Mills at quarterback. The Texans have gotten a little bit healthier since then. They didn't have their number two pick overall, C.J. Stroud, but they also didn't have the number three pick overall, their second high first round pick, Will Anderson with a high ankle sprain. Will Anderson has now returned. He didn't look like himself in week 18. He can be a little better this week. Offensively for the Texans, of course, no Tank Dell. Nico Collins is now 100%. And we do believe that Noah Brown will play through his two transverse process fractures after missing just a week. The only other issue for the Texans is at their left guard spot, as you can see, between Kenyon Green and Titus Howard. Defensively for the Texans, it's about the defensive line. Jonathan Greenard should return this week as well as Jerry Hughes. What percent they are will be the question. Will Anderson is likely to play, but limited. And of course, Jimmy Ward is on injured reserve, their strong safety. For the Cleveland Browns, the issue on offense has been obviously at quarterback solved by Joe Flacco. We forget that Nick Chubb's been missing all year. Jerome Ford's filled in as well as Kareem Hunt, Joe Flacco at quarterback. But the key injuries for the Browns are at left tackle and right tackle. Jack Conklin uh, is uh, out as well as his backup, uh, who is uh, Dewan Jones who's been very capable, and at left tackle, Jedrick Willis' season is over. That's the areas to watch if Houston's defensive line can get a pass rush. Defensively for the Browns, uh, it's at the safeties and linebacker. Anthony Walker is out for this game. Grant Delpit is likely out. He's been out for a while here. Juan Thornhill, the free safety, just returned in limited fashion. Where this game will be won or lost is can C.J. Stroud expose the safeties and up the middle defense for the Browns with Noah Brown back and Nico Collins healthy? And can Houston get a pass rush off the edges uh, against the Cleveland Browns left and right backup tackles? Overall should be a close matchup. But don't count on the Week 16 results because even though Cleveland won by two touchdowns, that was without C.J. Stroud. The Delta shows the Texans are healthier now than in Week 16. Should be an excellent matchup. Go to Sports Injury Central, SICscore.com for all of the latest in all the playoff matchups. Thanks for watching.